tips today I want to talk about why disposable cameras are the greatest. If you're like me, your childhood consisted of field trips and your parents would send you with a disposable camera so that you could go and take pictures with your friends and waste an entire roll on probably horrible pictures. But those pictures are so priceless. And for the past two years, I have been buying disposable cameras again and I just thought, I take so many pictures on my phone and I have tons of pictures on my computer, but I don't have a lot of physical pictures. And even though you can go and get your pictures printed, I feel like it's just not the same. So, first of all, people would probably say, hey, why don't you get a Polaroid? They print immediately, that's fun. <sighs> I think I have like an actual old Polaroid, but the film is just astronomically expensive. And the new kind of Polaroids that they have um, that print super tiny, I don't know, I just don't, I don't like those very much. So, I go for disposables, I'll buy them at CVS or Walgreens. I usually buy two at a time, so they cost like, $14, but that's a pretty good deal. And then I'll take one camera and take pictures on it. They usually last like a month or two before I fill all of them up, so it's pretty nice. And then I will take my camera and get it developed at Costco. And Costco has the best developing, as far as I've seen. If your Costco has the capabilities to process disposable camera film, then they usually can do it within the day and you can add a DVD and it's super fun and it doesn't cost that much. If you send it to Walgreens or CVS photo, they have to send it away and it can take up to like two weeks and it's a lot more expensive. So I don't prefer that. But I have a whole bag of tons and tons of printed disposables. Printed disposables? I don't know. So one thing that I really like about disposables is that they're 100% candid. I mean, like, you can pose for a picture, but if someone blinks or sneezes or whatever happens, the picture is taken and that's that. With digital pictures, I think that people like is that you can take as many as you need to get the perfect shot. But I really like the integrity of just a picture that is just what it is. You didn't have to take 10 to get that picture, it just happened, and maybe it doesn't look perfect, but it's real. So I've got pictures of Reed from when I went to New Orleans and visited him, pictures in the dorm room, pictures with my best friends. It's not going to be easy to show you guys these pictures because of the reflections and stuff, but you get the picture. The exposure might be off a little bit, the flash might be too bright or not bright enough, but like, I don't know, I just love it. There's nothing more exciting than when I drop off my camera, I get to pick it up and then look through all the pictures for the first time because by the time I get it developed, I'll have pictures that are months old and then I don't even remember taking them. That's really exciting to me. And then you get to look through them and it's just fun. Have I convinced you yet? Oh. This picture is Reed the morning that he was leaving for college. It was like five in the morning. I had been crying all night because I was very, very sad and I didn't want him to go. And there he is. That's such a trip. My baby. This was Kenna's birthday dinner, but it didn't show up, so it's very dark. One of my best friends, Brandon, right here, just giggling. Giggling up a storm. This was Brandon the day before he left for college. This, this role was a lot of goodbyes. My birthday when I went to an Elton John concert with McKenna. They're so precious to me, and I've used a lot of these pictures to make scrapbooks, and I can't wait to show my kids. Someday, like, hey, your mom was hot back in 2014. I just love it because who knows? Like, what if my entire computer crashed and all my pictures were gone? Let me know if you guys are nostalgic, kind of, like I am. I love taking pictures. I love it. I love looking through them all the time. And I just appreciate it so much. So, if you guys use disposable cameras, let me know. It's kind of become more popular. I've seen more and more people with disposables, which I love. But if you want to try disposable cameras, check out your local stores. They probably still sell them. You probably didn't even notice. You might get some weird looks when you take it out and take your first picture. Um, <laughs> Cause people are like, why would you use that camera from 2003? It doesn't matter. Just tell them because. Because I want to, or you could say, because I'm hip. Because I'm a hipster, I'm indie. I just really love it. It's already so important to me to keep all of these photos. And I've even started writing 
people's names on the back or the day or what we were doing and which is funny because that's a total mom move like <laughs> if you look through any of your old pictures your mom wrote on the back of all of them right so I'm doing that but I, it's because then like I don't know in the future I might not know what year it was or who was in the picture with me but I don't know I love it in 50 years you will see me still looking through my disposables and by then holograms will be everywhere and nobody will have photographs so that's all. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Okay, thanks. Bye.